In this tutorial, we'll add a commercial tenant to one of our vacant units. Let's start off by clicking the properties page and we'll show you how to add a tenant through that page. Now here's our property. Let's click on the property. Now let's select the unit that we want to add a tenant to. Now click the new tenant action under related actions. This will take us to the new tenant wizard. Notice that we're uh, starting off uh, with the addresses page and have bypassed the unit selection. That's because we've uh, already picked our unit, if you recall, on the properties page. So let's enter in the uh, tenant information. The tenant name, um, this is uh, tenant's company name or trade name, so 99 cent paradise and premise use is uh, discount store. Let's also change the send payment details for this tenant and have the payment sent directly to the owner and uh, click next to continue. Here we enter in the lease details. So uh, let's say it's a 10 year lease, starts October 1st and ends September 30th, 2020. Gave possession to our tenant on October 1st and uh, with a two months free rent, his rent starts December 1st. Rent is due on the first of the month and a 10 day grace period for late fees. So uh, late fee after the 10th of the month. Now $4,000 deposit, which is adjustable. So, uh, each time the rent escalates, then we adjust the deposit. Tenant is also required to maintain insurance and it expires on October 1st, 2011. His prior share is 25%. Um, he is responsible for taxes base year increases of taxes, common charges, prior share of common charges, prior share of insurance, and a flat rate of a late fee, $150 per occurrence. Before we move on to the rent breakdown page, I'm going to quickly cover the uh, triple net here, tax, cam, and insurance. The check boxes here represent that the tenant is responsible to pay for them, and the base type and base year is based on what's specified in the lease. So let's click next and move on to the rent breakdown page. Being that this is a 10 year lease with uh, let's assume 3% annual escalations, so let's use the autofill feature uh, to enter the rent breakdown charges here. So the rent start and rent date are auto populated for us. Uh, rent amount is uh, $2,000 per month. The escalation starts on October 1st, 2011 and increases by 3% every one year. Click autofill. Now all the uh, rent break breakdown items are automatically populated for us here in the rent breakdown table. Let's also assume that this tenant has a five-year option that starts on October 1st, 2020, ends on uh, September 30th, 2025, and escalation starts at 2021. And the rent amount starts at 2700. Let's uh, select the option radio button. This is our first option and tenant notifies us in 120 days and let's click autofill. Now notice that the rent breakdown is also uh, populated for us for the option period. Let's add the uh, scheduled charges now for this tenant. Uh, click the add scheduled charge button. Scheduled charges are non-rent items that appear in tenant's invoice based on the occurrence that we set here. So in our example, the tenant is responsible for real estate taxes, CAM, and insurance. Let's uh, add the real estate tax item first. Uh, occurs on a monthly basis, $125 a month, and ends on September 30th, 2020. Let's click Save. Now let's add the common area maintenance schedule charge item. Click Add. The entries here are going to be very similar to the real estate tax schedule charge item. Um, start date of the charges, start of the lease, occurrence occurs on a monthly basis and the amount of $75 per month. Now once we have the property budget set up correctly, and this is something that we'll show you in, in another video, we'll show you how to have these charges update automatically based on the property budget. So let's enter the final charge for insurance, occurs on a monthly basis as well. And uh, by the way, this description is the description that's going to be shown on the tenant's invoice and uh, $25 per month and ends on September 30th, 2020. Let's click next to move to the next screen. The notes and custom fields here are optional so let's uh, just click finish to finish the wizard and confirm 
and we're done setting up our first commercial tenant.